hey guys hey ladies so welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a ponytail wig on a sewing machine first off you need um your hair of course you don't need two bundles like i used <laughs> honestly you need maybe one and a half but eventually nobody sells half bundles so yeah a mesh ponytail cap or the one with some um, velcro many one that works for you that's fine then these are my combs and of course your sewing machine i did go ahead to outline my tracks I, because i knew that i was going to be doing four tracks in one i just spaced it out like that but if you have just one bundle you can make the lines as close as possible as as close as you can possibly make it now i went ahead to double track first and the secret to getting the perfect quadruple tracking or something like four tracks is to double first each of them and then now sew both of them together as you guys would see i have a detailed video if you're interested on um, if you're interested in learning how to double track i have a detailed video in my channel so definitely check it out i'm going to leave a link down below i also have a detailed video on how to quad quadruple rope track on my channel as well so definitely check it out i did show a bit of it in this video but it's not as detailed as the one you're gonna see on my channel so everything is gonna be linked down below so make sure to check the description box and i'm loving the sewing machine the sewing machine that i have is honestly i forgot it, i think four five two zero the singer sewing machine and guys let me tell you all these needles that you're buying from amazon it's killing your sewing machine the other day i broke all my needles that i bought from amazon and then i had to use the one that came with the machine which i didn't open because i just felt the amazon one would be better and let me tell you my sewing what just going like it was like butter like it wasn't I wasn't hearing that sound like I was hearing when I was using the Amazon needle. It was just very smooth. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Make sure you use the Singa sewing machine needle. Don't use any other needle for your sewing machine. If not, in the long run, you're ruining your sewing machine. So this is me um, just double tracking the second um, batch of the second bondi rather. And once I'm done with that, I did go ahead to then sew both double tracks double tracks together and what i did was i just sewed it in the middle so you know to join both of them together i'm just going to allow you guys to watch it for a bit so you understand better I think I'm gonna cut this part out but this is me basically changing my bobby pin because I ran out of thread so quick secret quick tip whenever your sewing machine jams like jams you know you're supposed to check it to make sure if not if you don't check it when you start sewing on anything be wig the tension is not going to be right because the bobby pin thread is not placed correctly and this happens when you pull the when you you know when your sewing machine jams you pull the fabric or the uh, wig just to get the thread out and that's like kind of like loosens or pulls the thread in the bobby pin and removes it from that little hook that holds it there so make sure that you check that before you start sewing again that was one lesson i learned while doing this i didn't know this before but yeah um so I just went ahead and continued sewing. I backtracked a bit so that um, the track doesn't lose, you know, because we're just continuing with the sewing. Oh, 
that's what I was telling you about. I didn't do that here. So if you look carefully on the tracks, you see that it's not right. But me, I was just enjoying my sewing. I forgot to check. So I did go ahead to losing it when I realized that the tracks, the tracks were not done right. And then I peeped and looked at my bobby pin and realized that, oh yes, shit, the thread, I didn't put it well. So just took my wig out, took the bobby pin out and then placed it correctly. I loosened it and I started again. So just so you know, guys, so you don't make the same mistake as I did. So this is me joining all four tracks together and this is what it looks like. Again, check the description box if you want to learn how to do this. And then I started by sewing just the um, just two tracks. That's the double track at the bottom and also at the end, beginning and end. And then in between, I sewed the four tracks that I already sewed together. So yeah that's why i did you want to backtrack at the beginning and at the end a couple of times just to secure your track your thread especially so yeah i think i did the double track twice but very closely then before going in with the four tracks in one so yeah and when you're cutting always be careful so you don't cut the ponytail cap unfortunately for me this was the only one i had currently available if i had ruined it i would have to order another one from amazon so i was super careful and i got to the end be very careful about the elastic band if you sew onto the elastic band your cap will not be able to your draw straws will not draw because you've already sewn the elastic so make sure you don't sew all the way to the elastic band just stop before the elastic band and backtrack again and yeah you're basically good so i just took that off cut it and i did the rest of the ponytail i just continued basically I, i'm just going to show you one last time actually a couple of times and then would end the video but that's everything i think i'm going to stop talking here and then if i need to talk again i'll come right back and talk So I did go ahead to use a lighter to just burn the end. I feel that this melts the thread and um, helps it secure better. So that's why I did that. And then for the tracks that you know, as you as we are sewing it, we are cutting, it. so it's going to make the hair shed too much. So just burning it slightly. Don't go and burn all your hair. Just burning the track where we cut. Just kind of like help reduce the shedding. So. That's basically that. And this is me realizing that I did it in the wrong direction. So I'll show you guys how to do it in a bit. Um, I should have been sewing upwards, facing where the draw straw was, but I was sewing backwards, facing opposite the direction of the draw, sto draw straw. So you see that in a bit. Um, don't make that same mistake but I realized at the end that it was it worked out for good because when I flipped it the other way the tracks were no longer showing which you know was a plus so I think it's just it depends on what works for you really so yeah I did go ahead to now I'm just sewing in my comb and I use this for every week that I make my custom wigs always come with this. If it's a closure, it comes with one. If it's a frontal, it comes with three. I think one on either side and then one at the back. Yeah, it comes with three. And just for extra security, even though they would come with elastic bands. The ponytail won't come with elastic band because it's a ponytail wig. So <laughs> what are you using elastic band for? Yeah, I'm just sewing it. Take your time with this because you don't want to sew onto the weave itself, so be very careful.
and of course I forgot to tell you what stitching I was using I was using the zigzag stitch I think the size is three five and the middle um, needle position is middle I'm not sure exactly what the numbers are but yeah yes So this is me doing the other side and if you look carefully you'd see that I flipped the hair so I don't sew onto the so I don't sew onto the hair itself so I'm just sewing um in between the two tracks. So yeah. So I was using my seam reaper to just make sure that the um, comb was positioned rightly because the four tracks we did made the tracks like very bulky so and you know the sewing machine footer it's it's to a certain extent you can lift it up so yeah it's basically it. In the next couple of clips you're going to see the finished look but in the meantime give this video a huge like and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed tell your friends about my channel and let them subscribe as well i hope to see you guys in my next one love you guys stay safe bye